Hi, my name is Douglas James Vale, and I'm the director of 40 The Temptation of Christ. Our film released yesterday, April 7th, 2020. And first, I just want to say thank you to so many people who sent us very positive feedback and wonderful messages, whether it was through Facebook, comments, or reviews, or even emails. All of it just means so much to me after this long, labor-intensive process. The movie uh, actually took about three years to get to this point. Uh, we started shooting in 2018, but in 2017 we're in pre-production, working out the uh, mechanics of the screenplay. And uh, in 2019 we had our first rough cut and we actually did some testing uh, at a couple of different screenings and we knew at that time that we definitely had something special because people were having an experience with it. Um, but since then the movie has traveled all around the world and we had an opportunity to place the movie in the UK, USA, um, Ireland and Canada. Uh, I know a lot of people from all these other countries are now reaching out through the website asking where they can see the film. Uh, just hang in there. We're working on subtitles and uh, language conversions and uh, we expect that the film will be in many, many, many countries in the months to come. So for those of you who don't know, the movie is uh, about Jesus in the desert. Uh, it's the 40-day temptation. Um, in scripture, it's written in less than 400 words and we tasked ourselves with making a motion picture that would be 98 minutes long. So obviously a lot of questions were raised. How did you handle a film like that when there isn't much information on it? And so when we approached the film, we wanted to obviously uh, keep true to the text and, and teach the gospel message at the same time. So we kind of wove in uh, what we know about the temptations, but we added a few things to help us understand the bigger picture of what that time meant for Christ and what it really meant for all of us and what could be lost if Christ didn't travel through those 40 days and conquer sin during that time. When it came to our lead, Jesus Christ, we were trying to think, man, how do we write for Jesus? What would we say? How do you handle that? And so the only thing that made sense was we actually delved into scripture and we grabbed verses from Isaiah, the Gospels, Revelations, Deuteronomy, Wherever a verse spoke to us, even in Psalms, we would include it and give those the words that Christ would speak on the film. So anytime Jesus speaks in the movie, it's actually taken from Scripture. You'll be hearing Scripture, and for those of you who know Scripture well, you might even be able to complete a sentence before he finishes. Uh, there's a couple of moments where just Scripture is heard and spoken through the speakers, and that was something that I really wanted to see happen through a motion picture, so that's what we did. And that's really what this is all about, making motion picture that brings scripture to life, brings Christ to the front narrative, top of mind, uh, in a world where I think uh, sometimes we forget those things. Uh, it's time to go back to God. Anyway, thank you for tuning in. My name is Douglas James Vail, the director. Uh, I hope to make more pictures like this, so please support us. So go to www.faithworkspictures.org. And there you'll learn a little bit more about how we made the film. There's a director's statement, some stills, and some synopsis information. Hopefully some things that might uh, answer some questions that you might have about how we did it. Anyway, take care, and uh, God bless.